seen me use my Stanley Adventure Quencher like in many, many stories over the past year. And they've been out of stock for over a year, I believe. And so when I saw people talking that they were going to be restocked, Day, I almost couldn't sleep last night because I wanted to get some for myself. Um, so I ended up getting a couple new colors for myself because I use them every single day. I love them because they can fit in the cup holder and they are 40 ounces. So it's amazing. Um, and it keeps ice, I mean, all day. I mean, they are insane. And I've heard them compared to Yetis and people say that these are better. I've honestly never owned a Yeti. Um, I, I'm just an obsessed with this and I love the colors. So anyways, and I love the handle. It's just easy to carry. Um, but anyways, I'm obsessed and I know that word is overused, but I really am. So I got some new colors for myself. I bought some, also bought a couple to give away to you guys. So if you weren't able to get one or if the price point isn't something that you liked, don't worry. I got a couple for a giveaway. So when they come in, I will do that. Um, but I got mine loaded with some water and some Mio and I'm going to head outside with you guys today. So let's go. Okay, I am outside in the garden and I wanted to chat with you guys about the ugliness that is happening down here. So many of you had questions about this when we laid it down um, and basically we're trying to grow grass back. So I wanted to chat with you about that and what's going on down here and why it's so ugly. And then we also did some planting over the weekend. So I wanted to chat about that in the garden. And then I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, our new patio furniture on the patio. So it is just starting to sprinkle out here, but I'm still going to, I'm going to hang out outside, rain or shine. Um, but yeah, so let's chat about that. Inside because I forgot to pick coffee winners. So I picked two. They're right here. Um, thank you guys. I It's just something that I like to do because you guys take the time to engage with the content that I put out. And I want to say thank you for doing that. So thank you. Enjoy your coffee. Running back outside because just just wait just wait until you see this I told him to wait for me and that I would help him with this and I look outside after talking with you guys and he's just carrying a whole little building by himself with his tractor this man loves his tractor and just thinks it can do everything but I mean it's working great I'm just a little nervous that it's gonna fall off but I don't know let's wait and see but we're moving this this was in the back garden and we're moving it up to our little vegetable garden for a little more storage um i'll show you guys the update in a minute because i i filmed you out there and i asked people if you were going to drop this and two people so far two two have said that you were going to drop it okay you should have seen what i had to do to get it out of there i am really open. glad i told you to wait the thing was like, um, I'm glad I didn't witness that. Also, I look out in the field and there's this building going across the field. I had my, my hand and like foot on this and I was trying to no. get ready to catch the roof if it fell. No. But it did not fall. No, and it hasn't fallen and you're almost there. If I, um, if I drop it between here to there with how rocky it is out there. True, true, true. I think we needed to chat about where it's going to go because yeah. now that it's here, yeah. it's actually a lot smaller than I thought. Um, I forgot how small it was, so let's go decide where we're going to put it. So we're in the garden. I want to chat about two things. One thing Jose knows about, and that is where we want to put the little greenhouse. But the other thing, I have a bone to pick with you. A this bone to pick stuff with me. is so ugly. Do you see the grass coming in already? No, it is so ugly. <laughs> It was 90 degrees and hot. I for just like wanted three to days. seed it. Like, I wanted if to seed it. If that wasn't seeds. there, these things would still be. Look, I didn't put any on the outside where I put seed, and there's nothing growing over there. I bet there. you didn't put seeds there. I did. You Anyways, could see it still. I'm telling I'll do a you swipe right up. now, this stuff is fantastic. It's, look, it's coming in. It looks like my hair when I let it grow out <laughs> for a couple of days. It's, I want to do a swipe up thin, for this it's stuff. There. It's thin, but it's there. Apparently, it works, but it's very, very ugly. And I feel like the garden is so ugly, but it really does work it does. i do see grass coming up no um, there's no seed it's just like a blanket it's like the when people you see hay or straw sorry when you are on the side of the road from like construction it's the same stuff it's just rolls 
week ago, Jose laid this, and I thought it was like gonna disappear overnight. And a week later, we have this like ugly green carpet. But I have never received so many DMs about something in the garden. It ain't cute. I'll give you that. No, it just looks like green. 70 shag carpet in the garden <laughs> but um you guys were very interested in it i had no idea you guys are here for the grass content so in a minute i'll show you how much grass is coming through because it's hard to see because grass is also green and the ugly carpet stuff is green <laughs> um but i'll show you the progress up close um but next up something happier i want to talk about the mini greenhouse placement and i'm thinking about putting it like breaking up the fence right here and putting it right here um, so this is our other greenhouse and then the mini one would be here and it's mainly for tools probably a couple plants um, but yeah let's see if we can break this fence up we also have to move this flower box um, which creates more work for Jose so let's get up and personal with some this is what it kind of looks like up close the grass is starting to poke through really nicely again it's been like five or seven days I think with it and there is grass coming through the carpet so I'll forgive him um, but I'll also keep you posted on how long the process takes. A little more real life for you guys while he places that. I can't watch. It scares me way too much. I feel like a window's gonna break. So I came in for a little pick-me-up. Some Milani new. The water just wasn't cutting it. I'll go back to water after this um, and I need to throw a load of laundry in because this is what we're dealing with um but yeah i hope your monday is going great we're getting stuff done over here getting a rain break for the first time in forever so we're inside um we got some new coffee winners and those that said i was gonna drop the greenhouse you're not winning so sorry i, I get to pick some so next time vote in my favor Okay, it's raining like crazy out here, but I've been getting a lot of questions about these bamboo trellises. I will link those right here. Those are from Amazon. And then these little wooden trellises were a DIY that we built. I'll link the DIY tutorial here. And the break in the fence over there is where the greenhouse is eventually gonna go. Um, obviously it's raining, so we've paused that, um, but that's your update. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is pouring out in the field and it's not raining here yet. I don't know if I can catch that on camera, but it's downpouring back there and not over here. <laughs> so crazy. Hi, Grace. Hi. You want to show everyone your haircut? Did you get your haircut? Hi. You're looking good. I bet you're feeling good, huh, baby? Now that it has stopped raining, let's talk all things back patio, and I'll show you our new patio furniture back here. It is finally warming up here in Michigan, so I'm trying to make all of our outdoor spaces cozy because we don't get a lot of warm months here, and so I wanna take advantage of it as much as possible, as long as possible, and one area that I've been doing is our back patio. And I got this new set in from Wayfair. It has that umbrella material on it that I love so much. We get all kinds of weather here and I don't wanna worry about staining or things being waterproof. So I love using things with umbrella fabric. And actually that umbrella there is also made with that umbrella outdoor fabric that we love so much. Um, but on the blog today, I shared this entire look. I'm really excited for you guys to go see it um, and I also shared the sources for all of this as well so you can swipe up and check that out I also shared more views of it too because there's a lot of pieces um, like these little pots and plants so I shared all of the plants and everything